Hello and welcome to Code Time IO. My name is Pete Medina, and in this episode, we'll be taking a look at automated image compression using a Gulp plugin called Gulp Image Min. So I have a starter web page open here. It's something that I created using Bootstrap, and I want to add a photograph to it. So to start, let's go grab that photo. I'm going to go to unsplash.com. It's one of my favorite stock image sites, and I'm going to search for a photo of a clock because this is code time. So I'm going to write clocks and press enter. And here we go. So I'm going to grab this one here. So I'll download that to my desktop. Cool. Let's jump over here, grab the photo and put it on the desktop. And I'm just gonna rename it clocks one. Okay. Now I have my project folder open here. So this is a bootstrap folder and I have it open right here. Here's a project root. It has the disk folder. So these are the folders that go onto the web. Then it has all the source files. So it has that gulp file. It has images, JavaScript, node, package.json, and the SAS code. And what I want to do is add this image to the source images folder here, which you'll see is empty. But first I need to turn on gulp and have it watch for changes. So to do that, I'm going to open up terminal and I'm going to drag, I'm going to drag it a little bit further to the left and move this over to the right, just so we can see both at the same time. Okay. And inside of terminal, I'm going to write CD desktop slash bootstrap because I want to point to this folder here and I'll press enter. Okay, now keep in mind that your path might be a little bit different. It's very relative to your user's folder. So you might not be going to desktop slash bootstrap. You might be going to documents or wherever else you have your project folder. All right, so I have this open yeah, or I have, yeah, I have it open in terminal. And the next thing I want to do is activate gulp and have it watch for changes. So I'm going to write gulp watch. Okay, so now Gulp is watching for any changes that I make to this entire project folder, and that's going to include adding images to it. So I'm going to drag this clocks1.jpg into this images folder. When I do that, I want you to pay attention to terminal because I want you to see how it captures that image and then it compresses it and saves it out. And our goal is to take any images we add to this images folder in our source and have it save it into dist images because these are the images that are going to go to the web. So they're the ones that need to be optimized. All right. So let's go back to the source. We're going into this images folder and I'm going to drag clocks1.jpg into it. Now notice that it ran through that and it told me that it optimized it. It took 67.8 kilobytes off of it. It's a savings of 9.9%. Now if I go into the dist folder and into images, I'll see my clocks1.jpg is in here. And notice the file size on it. I'll right click it and click get info. The file size is 620 kilobytes. This is the compressed save for web version. But if I go into the source, I can do the same thing here. I'm gonna view the file size. This is the original photo. Click get info. And this one is 688 kilobytes. So Gulp took this one and it ran it through its process and it minified it or not, I'm sorry, it didn't minify it, but it compressed it, it saved it for web. And then it put it into my, my distribution folder, so the one I'm putting onto the web. And this is essentially the same thing as opening up Photoshop and going through that whole save for web process, except in this case, I'm just letting Gulp handle it for me. So it's saving my workflow that extra step. All right, so let's go into Sublime text and take a look at this Gulp file just so we can understand a little bit more of what this task is doing. So here's the images task, Gulp task images. And what I'm doing is I'm pointing to the images in my project root and I'm telling it to run through its image minification. These are my settings right here. If it's a, if it's a GIF, I want it to interlace it. If the JPEG set it to progressive um, optimization level on PNGs are five, same with SVGs. We want to remove the view box too. So these are all the settings that I have. I have it set to for any images. And then when it's done, so when it's done saving for web, it's going to save it into disk slash images. And then it's going to return the message images task complete. And then down here again, this is just where it's watching for changes, including that images folder. 
So if I jump back in here and I go to terminal, let's close these up. There's that task, images task complete. Images task complete, okay. Let's close this up and let's add that image. So I'm gonna go back in here and write image class, or I'm sorry, source equals images slash clocks one dot JPEG alt text equals a close up of a clock face. And let's save it, go back here, refresh. Here's my compressed save for web clock image, but it doesn't quite fit. So let's go back in here and write class equals IMG fluid. This is a standard Bootstrap 4 class and what it does is it forces it to fit in the screen. So I'll save it, jump back in here, refresh, and there we go. And that is the Gulp Image Min plugin. It makes it really easy to save our images for web. We don't have to open up Photoshop or any other programs to do that. So give it a try. It's part of the original uh, Gulp download files at CodeTime.io. So you should already have it and you're free to start using it with all of your other projects. That does it for this episode. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.